Hola, ¿qué tal? Bienvenido a la clase de español. Welcome to the Spanish class. Soy Jorge, tu profesor. Today we are going to learn some basic expressions for getting contact information in Spanish. Let's begin with some easy words. Listos, escucha y repite. In our other video, we learn how to introduce ourselves and how to ask people their name. Remember, to ask what is your name, literally we say ¿Cuál es tu nombre? ¿Cuál es tu nombre? To answer the question, you would say Mi nombre es... For example, Mi nombre es Jorge. ¿Cuál es? means what is. And you can use this as an all-purpose question to get other useful information. Let's go for it. ¿Listos? Teléfono means telephone. So you can get someone's telephone number by asking ¿Cuál es tu teléfono? ¿Cuál es tu teléfono? To answer this question first, you will need to know how to say the numbers. So, let's learn the numbers from 0 to 9. ¿Listos? Escucha y repite. 0 0 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 5 5 6 6 7 7 8 8 9 9 If you want to practice again, you can replay this part of the video. Back to the question. If somebody asks you ¿Cuál es tu teléfono? You can answer by saying Mi teléfono es plus the number. Let's see this in a dialogue. ¿Cuál es tu teléfono? Mi teléfono es 25269927. Email in Spanish is correo electrónico. Correo electrónico. So, to ask someone for his or her email address, you can say ¿Cuál es tu correo electrónico? Is this too long? Well, don't worry. In modern society, people will understand when you say email. So you can easily ask ¿Cuál es tu email? ¿Cuál es tu email? To answer this question, first, we will learn the names of the symbols that are commonly used in email addresses. This symbol, at, is called arroba. Arroba. This one is called raya or guión. Raya, guión. The lower case is called raya baja or guión bajo. Raya baja, guión bajo. Finally, the dot is called punto. Punto. So you can read an email in Spanish this way. Jorge arroba gmail.com If you cannot read a word, you can spell it letter by letter. Jorge, J-O-R-G-E, arroba msn.hk. To learn how to pronounce the letters in Spanish, you can watch our other video. 
¿Listos? Escucha y repite. Now, back to the question. If somebody asks you cuál es tu email, you can answer by saying mi email es plus the email address. Let's see this in a dialogue. ¿Cuál es tu email? Mi email es jorge arroba yahoo.com.hk Gracias. De nada. ¿Todo bien? Let's learn a few more expressions. In our previous example, we say the word gracias. Gracias means thank you. If you are very grateful, you can say muchas gracias. Muchas gracias, which means thank you very much. When someone says gracias to you, you have to respond properly. In Spanish, we say de nada. De nada. That means for nothing. I hope that with these expressions, you will be able to connect with more people en español, in Spanish. Esto es todo por hoy. Gracias por mirar este video. Thank you for watching. Hasta la próxima. Adiós.